Yo, what's up guys, it's Jesse Gamer here, and today I'm playing The Wolf Among Us, episode 5, finally, the grand final. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. Shit. The last episode, Big B went to the Crooked Fist house, and the episode ended with Big B smoking. So, <laughs> let's see how Crooked Man reacts about Big B smoking. <laughs> I, I just hope my game won't. I mean, broke. your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? I don't know why there are any subtitles anymore. <laughs> Probably my game again. Holly's sister. I just don't know what Big B's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the trees now. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but for my friend Colin, I wouldn't do that to you. No joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Hey, it ended up with smoking, not... Oh, maybe... This. I mean, maybe this episode will start with him picking up the cigarette and start smoking, but um... I don't know why there weren't any subtitles, and probably when Crooked Man is going to ask something to me, when I have to answer, there will be... There will be... A no text. <laughs> to take if that's so I'm gonna need to fix the game again I don't know it just crashes I mean it works fine but it crashes with that text you know and I have to you've come a long way you must be tired <laughs> exactly how it ended in episode one and if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes it yep. nice. Very I have to fix my game, guys. Well, uh, I fixed it, and I think it is something to do with with my um, game recorder. Because when I run the game without recording, it works fine. But when I run it with recording, then it it crashes. You know, not like crashes, but it doesn't have text. But now it works, so let's continue. It's elegant, really a carpaccio, it's lobster, sirloin. Well, gramercy me, take a seat at the very least. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah.
What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie. You and your goons tried to kill me. I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. But as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. You didn't stop it out of the kindness of your heart. You stopped it because Snow White offered up Crane. That may have appeared to you to be the case, but I assure you, it wasn't. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it. Right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? You know who did it. Now tell me. No fucking way I'm telling you anything. After what you did. That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. I knew it. I didn't trust it, him. I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Get your hands off me! Look. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then it's to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start this. Don't make any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? After everything I've done for you? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one... Who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? 
Hey, I did try to take him. What the fuck? I didn't attack you, man. Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <laughs> I didn't finish you back in the shop, then I will finish you here. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him now. Ha! <laughs> yeah, Karma is a bitch, man. Single knife killed him. What the fuck? I don't get what I'm doing wrong. What the fuck? I'm pressing it, but it won't work. Okay. Let's try it again. Fucking Georgie. Oh, oh, oh. Let's finish you, man. The other brothers get his own punishment too. Come on, Georgie. Oh, shit. I know. Oh yeah, it's a big battle ball. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You're testing your luck, man. Gun 
it. Are you sure? Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! He just got perfect matching clothes from random strangers. Senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. No, Maybe not just... again. I have to fix it again. For fuck's sake. Okay, um, I fixed it, I think. Let's check it out. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. <laughs> Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, if you don't get out of the way right now, I'll have to... It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a lot knowing that man of murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean... Uh, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look. I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell I didn't. Look. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. Georgie, you think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just trying. <clears throat> you think that'll help? You still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. Go ahead and kill me then. It won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the old thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. What was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. Could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? 
This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian. Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't. Ah! Oh. Vivian, no! Oh shit, so Fuck. that's no, how no, they no, died. No. Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Damn it! I had... Vivian, I had an option. I, I, just, uh, I had an option to remove Nerissa's uh, ribbon. Good thing I didn't do it. So that's how they died, okay. Oh, Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Big B. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? Both of us. He's gonna have a horse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you wanna do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Sure it's not. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out.
Well, fuck. I hope Big B is not going to be in a suspect in this, you know. If he gets, if he gonna get blamed for this, it's fucked up, man. Turns out Georgie wasn't so bad, you know. What the fuck? Alright, let's finish this. Wait. Doors what closes by themselves. All right. So this is where they've been sending these. Playing around. You used to be something. Wait, what the fuck? They were there when I fought with Woody. They've been watching them all along. Can I go? No, okay. So this is where they made silver bullet. some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper?
Wait, what? Wait, what the f- Where are you? Come out and face me! This is ridiculous, there's so many here. Oh shit! The real form. Big wolf. Oh wow This just keeps coming. Oh, just like in the fairy tale, he blows.
Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun hope. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. How about I bring your corpse back to the woodlands instead? You're not going to kill me. You bet your life on that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this white again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Oh, I don't think so. I'm not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. Fuck! I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I want to bring him in, but at the same time, I just want to kill him and be deal with it. But maybe they will give me an, another chance to choose. Okay, let's go. Or Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun hope... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true. But I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. How about I bring your corpse back to the woodlands instead? You're not going to kill me. You bet your life on that? 
Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny. Coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. What? You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. Maybe you can brighten up a little. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Okay, you're not going anywhere. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was... What are you going to do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. Uh... No answers, no proof. You'll never know the truth, and she'll barely stand to look at you. Is it worth it? Nah, let's bring him in. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I mean... I did wanna wanted to kill him because in this trial, I mean he's right, he didn't kill them. So there's no point to arrest him. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to He's back. The crooked man. God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the Crooked Man's place. And after what happened with Mary... What? Well, I look okay? I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yeah. Yes, what are you waiting you for? You for murderer. My you wife killed Lily she was my sister. Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? You You're a fucking sir, crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's 
What? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't for change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Your body will be committed to the witching Where it realm. fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get and on with it. We've lost you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really what is about talk? justice? If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attack me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They're all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith. The way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? 
Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you to. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you. People like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still need of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Yes, I did it right. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie murder. was working for you. Bigby got a confession that... A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed me just him. Let make sure I understand you. You're trying to say the responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time. Yes. Yes. Of course. Whatever you're getting at, get to it. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's. He killed a man. Don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? What happened with Tweedledum wasn't Snow's fault. If you all want to blame someone, blame me. She had nothing to do with it. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Oh, I heard that before. How about the way he treated poor Tweedledee when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. 
It was for his own protection. Hold your idea, train will in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends. This is what I'm talking about. He's gonna get out with it. I'm gonna this kill him. Isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know. The laws apply when we need them. That's I not need true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. I'm gonna we kill him. Ropes to this disease world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Oh yes! I the ribbon is gone. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Little What's she doing here? I'd like to. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? He? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian killed herself, making the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Know. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it? Right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How he will get out. Escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good enough. There will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. I don't get it. So get I'm gonna kill him. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? Look. I'm making the call. Why should you? He is the only officially appointed representative here. Exactly. Right. Big B should decide. And now I'm gonna pay him in the witching well. Yes, it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. 
Okay. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. I'm gonna throw him in. <laughs> I'm gonna throw him down Teach the well. No. He has to do Everyone, I'm not this way. I knew it. I knew it. You're gonna go down of the well anyway. to a race from the books. Oh, for the moment I thought they are going to let him go, but I was like, no, nah, bitch, I'm taking this. I, I, I was going to let Snow decide, but I thought, nah, she's been, she's been too weak for it, so that's why I made the call. Sheriff, you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Farm? No, no, no. I'll be down in a minute. I, hey. I totally forgot about Todd. He's probably leaving and he's gonna be pissed on me. This fucking line. Oh. Uh, Mr. Wolf, flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? People still wait in the line. Like what the fuck? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> yeah, at least Colin isn't going to the farm. <laughs> Toad is probably gonna be so mad, but whatever. I can't make things right for everyone, you know. I should have taken money every time I had a chance. Maybe I would be able to help Colin, him. Jesus. Yup, he's going. He's mad. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> Shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. 
It's the willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. Plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You won't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. I mean, saying goodbye. I should have taken the money every time I had the chance, so I had a chance to give Toad money, but I didn't have any at the time. That was stupid, Hi. you know. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own, okay? I just Listen, wanted to help. I, I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. Ah, uh, probably this is Faith, going... Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out leave the pudding and pie for good but then faith decided to get some leverage she stole a picture of rain and lily together the minute faith stole that photo we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies if he found out i i had no choice you have to understand you've seen how they kept us quiet in that place can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence it's okay, just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to get the crooked man to leave us alone, we could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end, but I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. 
I walked her over here, and I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win for these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Yay! You brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. Yay! Standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fabletown wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh shit, that's exactly what Faith said in episode I one. Please. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Dr. Ribbon. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? They said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Oh shit! So, so this is this. Cool. So this is how the season two is going to start. I mean, I choose to go after her, and oh shit! While I watch Big B, uh, Big B's face, I think he realized something, and oh my gosh, I can't wait season two, man. I just can't wait. What did you do to Georgie? You and sixty-eight of players killed Georgie. Did you give the crooked man a trial? You and 89 of players. 89% of players brought the crooked man back alive, so I did pretty good. How did you punish the crooked man? You and 38 of players threw the crooked man down the witching. Well. Well, at least there I <laughs> I will, we won't see him again. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? You and 80 and 98 percent of players decided to accept TJ's gift for snow. What the fuck? 1.5 percent of players did not accept it. What the fuck? What kind of bad people they are? What were your last words in her do 
Nerissa, you and 29 of players said I made a lot of mistakes. I can't wait season 2, man. This is going to be so much, so cool. I mean, these episodes were so awesome. I mean, researching, trying to solve things and everything. And, uh, you lied to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment. You probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to read it, you can, you can just, you know, pause the video. Oh, <laughs> dumb. Faith. Georgie, all gone. Oh shit! You went to his place first and you prevented him from dying, so there was a possibility that he would die if I wouldn't visit him first. Shit! Wait. You tried to take her ribbon during your final conversation. I think there's something still not quite right. I mean, I think she didn't want to remove her ribbon for a reason. I think, I think there's something going on. If she takes it off, she dies. So I think that's that, 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 that's probably the thing. And when Bigby realized something, I chose to go after her, and I I just can't wait season two, man. You brought her along with you to the trip trap. You showed her crane photograph of her. You chose to wait for him. You accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. Okay, I did pretty good, I think. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I think I see you in season 2 of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, there will be Telltale Game videos soon i think i'm gonna record um uh, the walking dead season 2 because i i uploaded all episodes of the walking dead season 1 on my channel and i uploaded season 3 episodes on my channel but i haven't uploaded season 2 so that's what i'm going to do next i think so thank you guys so much for watching and see ya Oh wait, 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 I wanted to show you something, actually. There was something cool. Uh, you know, those... The going through the game, there was those unlocking fables and everything, so let's check it out. Book of Fables. Wow, a lot. I... I... go... Two unlocked fables. Wow, so many unlocked fables. I mean, I missed. I know in that uh, episode where I, uh, where Nerissa gave me key to uh, 204, but I didn't open the doors, so I probably missed so much of it. And I didn't play the cast uh, the the audio in that uh, radio where Faith was killed, where Lily was killed, you know. Fuck, man. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I, like I said, I see you in season of The Wolf Among Us.